Um, welcome, everybody, to the uh, first session of uh, the Public uh, Petitions Committee. And may I remind everybody to switch off your mobile phones as they can interfere with the sound system. Um, and if we move on now to agenda item one, it's a declaration of interest. Uh, I have one declaration of interest myself, and that is in, in the member's interest, uh, and uh, otherwise that's it. Can I go around the room and uh, I guess like to... Yeah, thanks, Convener. I have no registrable interests to declare. My, my interests are all declared in the interest. Yeah. I have no registrable interest to declare. No registrable right. interest to declare. Thank you very much indeed. Okay. Um, now, item two, agenda item two, is the choice of convener. I, I sit in this position at the moment by dint of age, uh, but there we are. Um, and so I now would, the committee's next task is to choose a convener. Um, and what we have to do now is the Parliament has agreed that only members of the Scottish Labour Party are eligible for nomination as, the com as a convener of this committee. And therefore, I understand that Joanne Lamont is the party's nominee for this post. Is that correct? Right. Uh, do we agree to choose Joanne Lamont as our convener? Agreed. That's fine. Right. I shall vacate the seat. I've kept it warm for you. Thank you very much and thank you for doing that. Um, it's quite nice to win an election even if there's only one horse in the race, so that's something of a relief. Um, but can I thank you very much for your support and also recognise it is a, a real privilege to be able to convene this committee. I think it's a particularly important committee in the, in the Parliament. I look forward to working with you. And I would also think want to pay credit to Michael McMahon, who was the outgoing chair of the committee. Um, he was obviously a good friend of mine, but was a very fine parliamentarian as well, and we can learn a lot about how to work on a cross-party basis from what he did. So thank you very much for that. Our now, uh, agenda item three is the choice of deputy convener. Um, we have to choose a deputy convener. The parliament has agreed that only members of the Scottish National Party are eligible for nomination as deputy convener of the committee. Um, and I understand that Angus MacDonald is the, not the candidate from the SNP. Yeah. Okay, are we agreed that Angus MacDonald be uh, elected as Deputy Convener of the Petitions Committee? Yes, okay. Good, congratulations. Okay. The, ma the main substantive item we have on of business obviously today is Agenda Item 4, the work programme. Um, there are a number of things that we, we have to agree. The first thing is that it has become normal practice for committees to meet informally for the purpose of business planning and these meetings normally take place towards the end of the summer recess so can we agree that you know subject to the agreement of the clerks in terms of timings that we meet before the new session begins um, in September is that agreed really? okay um, the second decision is is whether to meet again before the summer recess to consider some of the petitions carried over from session four and some new petitions that have not yet been considered um, is that agreed that we meet the week before recess? Yep. Yes. Okay, yes. thank you. Um, now, what we do want to do now is you will have um, in front of you, in Annex A, a list of the petitions that have been carried over from Session 4, and of course there's been some reference to that in the legacy paper from the previous committee, for which we are grateful. Mm -hmm. Um, and my proposal is to go through Annex A and really just for people who want to comment on individual petitions, not in great detail, but if you feel there's particular ones you think it would be worthwhile um, our looking at, and then we will look at in the Annex B, those that have come in since the committee stopped um, considering um, petitions. I think if it's possible, what I'd like to do is get a flavour from the committee of the issues that they're um, interest in around these petitions, but it would be good if you were able to delegate to me responsibility for the final decision around which petitions we take um, at the next meeting, and that will allow to work with the clerks in terms of where petitions are in the system and ones where we can perhaps get um, um, people in to give us some evidence. Is that agreed? Okay, okay so if we can look at Annex A, and I'll just, what I'll do is I'll just take it through um, page by page 
And if you, if you want to make a particular comment and a particular petition, then just catch my. So we're starting um, on page three, um, one, two, two, three. Are there any there that people want to particularly flag Sorry. up? Have you guys set a set of these agendas? Alex, I apologise, I have failed to get that. Is there a hard copy? Are you there? Oh, Matt, sorry. I beg your pardon. So sorry. Sorry, thanks very much indeed. Sorry, Chair. Uh, thank you very much indeed. Okay. So we're on page three. I should declare an interest in relation to 1319 and actually dealings with this petition um, as a constituent member in um, Glasgow Pollock. Um, it's William Smith and Scott Robertson and he runs a, Willie Smith runs a football club within the constituency. So I'm aware of the issues around that one and it's one I think that's worth us looking at further. On page four. It doesn't mean that we won't look at these, it's just if there's particular comments people have on them. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Um, can I read on page six? Um, I, I have a an interest. In fact, I'm councillor for Argyll Butte Council, uh, and Douglas Fyland is a council colleague of mine, so I'd have to declare that interest. Okay, okay. thanks for that. Uh, on page eight, can we know that? I should declare interest in that I've been um, involved as the local constituency member uh, with uh, PE 1563, um, and I would be keen for the committee to continue to look at this petition because there are ongoing issues uh, in the constituency and throughout Scotland um, that uh, the Scottish Government should be addressing um, and you know any pressure that we can put on from from this petition would be would be welcome okay thanks for that um, we'd got to page nine page 10. Page 11. And page 12. Yep. Um, 1595, um, shared space schemes. Mm -hmm. I've been involved in that in the constituency. Okay, thanks very much. I think you can see from the range of petitions there that... Um, people see a, a place for the Petitions Committee for a whole range of interesting issues and it's just a question of us managing our time to deal with them timidly and with respect for the petitioners. If we want to have a quick look then at Annex B, new petitions. Anything on page 13? I don't know if the clerks have any advice on any that, that obviously we, you know, because these have not been dealt with at all. Maybe if you can just clarify for us what the procedure is for a new petition coming in. Certainly. Um, when new procedures come in, what has been practised in previous sessions is just for them to be dealt with in the order that they're lodged. Um, so in, in this case, the petitions um, starting at 1598 were the ones that were lodged longest ago, so we're probably the ones the committee would like to schedule first. OK. And page 14. Page 15. Okay. And, and what can we have? There's three in from the one petitioner. Um, from just, if he were to be asked to come along to give evidence, perhaps he could address all three at the one time. Yep, yep, that's, that's an option. Uh, sort of interest in PE 1598. Um, I've had dealings um, not directly with Guy Lindley Adams, but uh, on behalf of the Council in uh, matters concerning planning permission and, uh, and Loch Etiv. Um, so, um, although whilst I'm not directly involved, I have been uh, assisting the applicant okay. in, in this particular, not in this case, but I mean just generally, but I know he's a legal advisor to the salmon um, right, okay. side. Okay. That's right. Okay, thanks very much. We have um, 
go through all of that then. Um, I mean, I think certainly if it, it, I would quite like to make sure that not just public session, but if people are seeing petitions they've got particular interest in or want to flag up to me and, and Tang as a deputy convener their particular issues, I think that helps uh, the consideration of, of what we've got to do. Um, if I get it right, I think we're finished. Yep, um, I think we've dealt with all of the business and can I close this formal meeting of the petitions committee. Before we go, however, I think it would be a couple